Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obit Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out a very interesting game indeed. Uh, this is Factory Town Idol, which, as the name suggests, is based off the original Factory Town game, uh, which was a fantastic factory builder and a fantastic sort of city builder, actually, uh, that had a real depth of complexity. Uh, this game is a lot less complex, uh, but is also very, very cool indeed. And I'm super excited to show it off and see what we've got going on. So, yes, um, as, I sort of, as I sort of mentioned, it's kind of a clicker game, um, but that's not necessarily a problem. In fact, that's actually kind of lovely. Um, we've jumped into the game as ever. I'll do my very best to explain what the heck is going on. Um, but I would thoroughly encourage that you at least check out Factory Town so that you have sort of a basis of understanding for, I guess, some of the mechanics. Not like it particularly matters. I'll explain them. Uh, but there we go. Anyway, uh, this is what's going on. We've got ourselves an inventory over here. Uh, and this is going to be increasing as we harvest specific resources from, uh, from this area over here. Um, you'll notice that we've got one tab up at the top here. Harvesting. That will change. That will develop. Uh, we've also got some quests over here we've got to harvest for wood and then we will unlock the menu for buildings which is very very interesting indeed we can level up but only if we get 50 coins and we don't have any way to get any coins at this moment in time we also have land uh, up here which is required to construct buildings anyway um let's go through the the sort of motions here um we'll harvest as much wood as we possibly can well then you know let's not go crazy um you'll note by the way that we're using trees in order to get wood very, very, very simple. Uh, but we are also leveling up our ability to harvest wood each and every time I click it. Right, let's claim this quest. Let's get this brand new menu. Uh, we've got a brand new menu. Uh, and we've also got the ability to build a house, which is going to cost us four wood. Fantastic. It's going to take us a little bit of time as well. We can actually queue up multiple houses each and every time, by the way. Uh, it uh, it costs us it costs us a little bit of land to uh, to do, but that's not necessarily a problem. Um, I just claimed the next quest. We had a quest to build one house, uh, and that unlocks the ability to equip workers, which is very, very cool indeed. And this is going to start generating a pretty consistent amount of wood. I can still accelerate things. I mean, that's, that's all fine and dandy. Uh, that's great, but it's, you know, it's, it's very, very cool. It's very, very cool indeed. Um, so there we go. Great. Happy, happy days. This is all looking very, very nice indeed. Uh, however, houses... Houses are costing me are costing me wood, and uh, we simply don't have enough wood to go around at the present moment. Let's equip all of these workers into wood extraction, and we will claim our quest, and we're going to unlock a natural resource of rock here. Brilliant. Okay, uh, I could assign people to, to this, but I don't really particularly think that it's worth it. What do we need to do? Harvest 10 stone and build 5 houses? Well, I can probably do, yeah, a 5th house there, like, very, very easily indeed. That's not too much of a problem. Um, you'll note, by the way, that we have leveled up our ability to extract wood, which is really quite nice. Uh, let's assign one person to extracting stone here. That's fine. Okay, in order to build another house, we're going to have to spend some coins on it. That's uh, that's worth bearing in mind. Right. Okay, we've claimed our next quest. Happy days. Uh, we've got ourselves the ability to build a general store. Fantastic. Now, this is where the, I guess, like, OG factory town mechanics start to play, uh, well, a, a lot of an impact, actually. Uh, let's build our general store. It's going to cost us 20 wood and 10 uh, stone to build. Let's do it. Let's do it right now. Again, I would dearly love the opportunity to build another house, and don't get me wrong, we're going to get there. Uh, I am going to claim the general store, and that's going to unlock a brand new menu as well. It's going to unlock the markets menu, which is very exciting, but we're not going to talk about it quite yet. And also a, a new resource, by the way. A resource that we can harvest of grain. That's fine. Anyway, so we've got the general store. That's looking good. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, we can harvest grain if we want to, but, I mean, it's not particularly interesting. Uh, I guess we can talk about markets now. I guess there's nothing there's nothing else really for us to do. Uh, right, so the way that the general store and, uh, in fact, a variety of stores work in Factory Town is that the store sits in amongst a grouping of houses and supplies the houses around it with a variety of goods. The same, kind of, uh, in this game. So what we can do is we can assign a general market and we've got what? We've got one general store, general store right here. We can build a second one. I guess we can. We'll queue it up. Sure, we've 
not got a tremendous amount of land, but that's fine. That doesn't really matter at the moment. So we're, we're okay. And we can assign a general store to sell off the resources to the houses. So, uh, for example, uh, I'm going to assign you to sell off wood to the houses in the area. And you can see that this is the goods fulfillment little, uh, little bar here. And you can see that uh, we are currently selling off exactly the correct amount of wood uh, in order to fulfill everybody. Uh, that means that we are good in the coin department and we are getting yellow coins. Now, again, it's going to fluctuate based on how fulfilled uh, all of the houses actually are in relation to any of their individual goods. Uh, but the point is, is that at the moment, everybody is five out of five happiness uh, for wood. And as you can see, goods fulfillment, there's a massive, massive bar. We've currently got five out of 1,000 happiness. So there's clearly a lot more that we can do in that department. Right, let's get some more houses on the go, shall we? Let's queue up as many houses as we possibly can because I am desperate, 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 desperate for more workers. And I would very, very much like the opportunity to get to get more workers. So let's go and do that. Uh, let's get somebody doing grain. Sure. Uh, or maybe we get two people doing... Maybe we get two people doing rocks. I might do... I might do two people on rocks for now so that we can at least make a profit in rocks temporarily. That would be kind of nice. Um, we'll complete the quests in just a second, but I just want to make sure that we are... I just want to make sure that we're in good territory with regards to rocks. We should be. Yeah, we should be on the increase because we're we're extracting 0 0.60, which is great, and we're selling at 0 0.5 temporarily, of course, until everybody is supplied and then the rate of supply is going to go down, uh, which is good. Yeah, output output capacity is limited to 0.3%, which is grand. Okay, um what are we going to get from this? Sell 10 items at the general store. We're going to get a quest for the food mill. Okay, that's fine. Harvest 50 wood is going to give us a lumber mill. I'll take it. It's a brand new building. That's great. I have no idea what that does. Natural resource of water and an item quest for coins. Quest coin plus one menu perks. Okay. What do we got up here? Ooh, I see. We can assign. We can assign our stars to uh, to a given to a given perk. Very very cool indeed. Harvest 400 wood gives us a forester and also another quest coin. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's uh, let's get that. We might as well. Okay, so you can probably start to see where this is going. Is good. Is very, very good. It feels very, very nice indeed. There's a lot of stuff that we just unlocked there because I'm busy wittering away to myself. Uh, we need to get grain sorted. Let's sort out grain. 0 0.5. It's going to increase. Yeah, we're going to increase... We're going to increase our rate of grain harvest if we just get ourselves up to level 1. I think it's a 0.1% increase at each and every level. I don't know what it goes up to. Yeah, it's a 0.1% increase. So that literally right there gave us, what, a point zero point five percent per second, or I think it gave us a 0.5% speed boost on the, uh, on the harvest, which is kind of nice. 0.1% uh, speed boost on the harvest even, uh, which means that we're collecting all of this much more quicker. Uh, much more quicker, much more quickly. Anyway, let's get another general store if we can. We can't. We're going to need to level up first. That's fine. Can I start the process of selling grain? Uh, no. I can manually sell it, which I will do. And we don't have any water. That's fine. Okay, let's level up. I have no idea what this is going to do. Town level 1, natural resource capacity plus 25%, land plus 13. Uh, natural resource capacity, I guess that's my little... I guess that's how many trees that I've got left. This little green bar is going down. It's not going down particularly quickly, but I guess that's what it must be. Anyway, we need 140 coins to level up, level up next. The important thing is that we have the ability to buy another general store, and I'm actually going to buy two general stores uh, for a very, very important reason. One is going to be equipped to selling off grain. The other is going to be equipped to selling off water. And I'm also going to build uh, loads and loads of more, loads and loads of additional uh, houses. I do want to build the lumber mill. I do want to build the forester. We're going to do that. The lumber mill is going to allow us to make planks and paper, much like in the real factory town, which again, you should really play because it's really, really good if you like factory builders and automation games. Um, uh, the forester is going to allow us to plant trees. Pretty, pretty simple on that department as well, I think. Okay. Um, we've got more... Oh, look, that's... Okay. So each and every house that we build, the, the recipe changes depending on what level of house we're going to build. So in order to get the next house level, we're going to need to get planks. So let's get a lumber mill. Let's just do it. We'll just get it built. That's fine. Uh, we've got one additional person which we can throw into water. 
I can probably like manually harvest water to maybe accelerate the levels a little bit. Alternatively, I can take people off. I probably should have done that. I can take people off wood harvesting because we're still positive in the wood department because we've got literally a level eight, a level eight wood, level eight wood harvesting operation on the go. All right, let's sell off uh, grain. Let's sell off water, and then we will hopefully sell off planks as soon as we possibly can as well. Right. Okay. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to collect, which I'm going to do very, very soon indeed. I think we've unlocked the crafting menu. We have indeed unlocked the crafting menu. Um, we need to get our one and only lumber mill to start operating on resource transformation. We're going to go wood into planks, which is great. Happy days. And I can accelerate this again. I can help make this make this happen um i'm not bothered about making it happen at a particularly fast rate but that's okay also it looks like we're only able to hold a little bit of water can i sell off more water no but i can reduce the amount of people that are harvesting water there's no real reason to no real reason to to go hard on that one right can i claim this stuff please what can we what can we claim we can claim uh, we can get a quarry quest and also a quest coin. Okay, that's fine. Doesn't seem great. Produce 25 planks. We'll have that one literally right now. That's going to unlock the quarry building and also another quest coin. Excellent. We'll do that. Um, anything that I can build here? I'm going to build a forester because I just know I'm going to need one like really, really soon. And I guess we'll also build a quarry. And then we'll also build a house. Because again, why not? We've also got two workers that are still spare looking for a job i think we need another i think we need another lumber mill as soon as i have 13 coins let's try and let's try and do that and then and then let's also start selling off our planks if we're able to get another general store which i easily am let's do it happy days happy happy days i'm actually going to assign two more people to doing rock collection just because i'm a little bit low on the old rocks we can fix that right so i need to get my one general store working on planks. Planks are actually in a bit of a dodgy place. Yeah, so we're going to see a little bit of a decrease in planks. But if I get another lumber mill, is that going to take us up to where we need to be? In terms of planks? I hope so. It does indeed. Brilliant. And of course, we're going to get that level. We're going to level that up very, very soon indeed. Uh, but that being said, I'm going to need to tweak the values ever so slightly so that we end up positive in the wood department. Right, shall we claim? Let's claim. So, we can build a quarry, and we'll unlock the prospecting menu, which I do kind of fancy the idea of faffing around with. Uh, what else have we got here? Cultivation. Cultivation menu, and also another quest coin. That's pretty good. Uh, are we doing fine for general stores? We are. We're absolutely doing fine for general stores. And we're doing fine for everything here. I do need to get the forester stuff sorted. Yeah, let's do that first. Okay, quest coin, nice. And we've unlocked the cultivation menu. Brilliant. Right, so we can plant some trees. We can assign our, our one and only forester to working on cultivation. We will do that. We will do that. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think that there is an easy way for me to tell how... Oh, that's the, that's the number of trees that we've got. What am I talking about? Right, so if we cultivate lots and lots of trees, like, very, very quickly, then maybe we'll be able to, to get there. Now, this does use an ever so slight amount of water, but it's not necessarily the end of the world. The real question is, are we going to be positive or are we going to be negative? I think we're going to be negative for a while f with trees, but that's okay. Um, the same is probably going to be the case for, for wood, uh, for wood, for rock. We're very, very low on rock, in fact. In fact, I think we might be, like, bang out. 100% out. Right, let's do the same with quarrying. We'll unlock the prospecting menu. Brilliant. And we will assign the quarry over here. Could we maybe just double up? We maybe just double up if we go into buildings. We build another forester. Build another quarry. Is it just that simple? I think it is. Inventory's looking good, though. It's looking very, very good. Right, assign you there, assign you there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Right, we need to build a stonemason. We need to build a food mill. We need to harvest 2,000 wood. Uh, we also need to assign a perk. A skill gain perk? A research speed? 
I'll build the skill gain speed. What that changes? Um, I would suspect the rate at which I collect XP, but that's just a guess. That is just pure speculation. Right, but I gotta be honest, this is looking really, really good. Uh, yeah, we're gonna hit the next, we're gonna hit the next harvest very, very soon indeed. We're gonna hit the next wood uh, threshold quite soon, actually. If I, I'm gonna need to tweak this ever so slightly though. I need slightly more wood and I also need slightly more water. We're good for stone though. We're very, very good for stone. Harvest 500 stone. Let's get the stone mason. Excellent. That is definitely something that we need to build in order for, uh, well, in order to finish this quest, I guess. We can build it now. We got plenty of cash. I'm waiting to level up. There's no reason for me to level up quite yet. It just doesn't feel right, you know? Uh, stone brick. Sure. Let's do it. I think that's going to decrease the rate of stone collection. I mean, obviously, it's going to decrease the rate of stone collection, but it's not the end of the world. Presumably, yep, we've unlocked a brand new market to sell this stone brick in. I think we honestly just take this opportunity to build another, uh, another general store. The sooner we're able to accrue money very, very rapidly, the better, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, it's taking it's taking its sweet time. Let's level up. I can't be bothered waiting. Uh, right, town level two, excellent. Natural resource capacity plus 25%, land plus 14, which is great. And you know what? The good news is, is that the money is starting to come in pretty darn consistently now, which is very, very gratifying. Uh, I'm going to build another stonemason, and I am going to assign that stonemason to this here that's going to put us in a positive maybe not a positive place it's it's break even at the moment plus 50 percent minus 50 percent from the market that's fine uh but once we hit level one and it gives us that little speed boost that's going to be great right so the food mill is going to help us complete this quest we've harvested 400 grain happy happy days uh, quest coin as well. That's lovely. Let's immediately just jump into the food mill. And you know what? Let's queue up a second food mill. Why the heck not? Let's also build some more houses. I am kind of desperate for more houses. Let's queue up to 15 houses. That seems a little bit obscene, but we can manage. Anyway, uh, the food mill has unlocked flour. Again, as it does in the original factory town. Very, very cool indeed. Let's get two of these. Uh, we're immediately going to go into a grain deficit, which I don't love. But the good news, the good news on that front is that we have the ability to assign more people to collect grain. We're still negative on grain. We're negative a little bit negative on, uh, on wood. That's okay. We're building a brand new house, which is nice. That's going to get done. It's just going to take a little bit of, just going to take a little bit of time. Right. Uh, what's this going to unlock? This is going to unlock a school and also another quest coin. Uh, the market has got the ability to sell flour. Uh, well, we can build another general store, but we're going to need, we're going to need more. I'm going to build another lumber mill. Let's build another lumber mill to help transform some of these trees a little bit more rapidly. Also, we're completely out of stone. I can assign one more person here. I can assign one more person. Let's go, let's go stone. We've got plenty of grain, even though we are sort of drawing down on it at the moment. It's not great, but it's, it's fine. It's fine enough. Uh, I think we're going to need more quarries. Yeah, we're definitely going to need more quarries. So let's go and start the process of doing that. Um, we should probably take, yeah, probably take planks off the market. We're not meeting consumption for stone bricks. We're not meeting consumption for planks, regardless of whether we're selling it or not. And we've got plenty of trees as well, so that's not the problem. We've just about finished our next house, which is excellent. Uh, let's also get... Oh, we don't need another lumber mill, but I do need... I do need to assign that lumber mill. At... Yeah, it is. It's, it's here. Yeah, there we go. That's good. So it's going to get us some more planks. That's nice. It's quite a rapid rate of planks, actually. Do I need another lumber mill? Do I need any more planks? No, I don't think so. I don't think I need any more of anything, with the exception maybe of quarries. Uh, we also need to be ready to level up uh, at any at any point now. We, we need to be ready to level up. Let's craft some more planks. Let's see if we can do this rapidly, and I'm going to get another quarry. Great, and we're also going to assign another worker to harvest 
more trees because we are ever so slightly low on trees. But I really do want to build this school pretty much as soon as I possibly can. So we're going to try and do that. We're going to try and do that. We still are struggling to harvest enough enough rocks. Um, I mean, we do have some rocks here, but it's just not enough. Let's go grain. Another person harvesting grain. There we go. Now we're positive in the grain department. That's great news. Right. I'm going to level up. We might as well. Natural resource berry bush. Okay. That's lovely to know. I'm going to claim this quest. I'm just going to do it. We've got the quest coin. We've got the school building. I'm going to try and build the school building uh, as soon as I can. Rocks. We can move up in the rock department. That's cool. Uh, flour, we are not selling our flour. And I don't know why I wasn't selling my flour beforehand, but at least we're doing it now. Right, I'm going to click through here to manually sell off as much flour as I possibly can. Uh, the reason being is that that's going to show us exactly what our output is at full capacity. That's okay. Uh, I need two more... I need two more stores, general stores. We need 54 stone for that. That's not great, actually. Like, all of these are... Do we need just... Do we just need more houses? I think we need more houses. I think that kind of sucks to say, but I think we need more houses. Let's, uh, let's stop selling... Stop selling stone bricks temporarily and start selling planks. Because that's going to allow us to... Yeah, yeah. I'm going to manually intervene here. Uh, harvest a few more a few more bits of rock. Turn those ro rock bits into stone bits. And then build some more houses. Because we need 38 stone brick. Boom. In order to do that. Great. And then... We're going to assign... Another person to working on the rocks. It's literally just that simple. Boom. Okay. That's us in a better place now. Harvest 2,000 wood, we get ourselves a wood chopper. What the heck is a wood chopper? And also menu for minigames. Well, what the heck is that? A wood chopper minigame. Chop the log to earn wood. Oh, I see. Right, I'm clearly miserable at this. Hey! Oh, come on, if I can hit that. Oh, I see, we literally get, we get 25 wood for it. Oh, cool. That's not bad. Oh, perfect. Uh, two perfects in a row. Eh, that's okay. What is the advantage of doing? I mean, there must be some advantage to do this. It's quite, it's quite pleasing, actually. Especially when you hit a perfect. Two perfects in a row again. Right, let's, uh, let's just... Let's wear down. There we go. Do it one more time. There we go. Look at that. I tell you what, not bad. Not bad. Okay. Level up my wood chopping ability. Yeah, I mean, if I wanted to do that to get more, not enough energy. Okay, I don't know. I don't know how on earth energy is calculated. I presume maybe it's a maybe it's just a, a sort of overtime thing that it kind of happens. But that's very nice. Nice little way to to get ahead. Uh, I need to build a new general store. Build a new general store. Build another house. Yep. Get both of them on the go. We got plenty of wood now. We are great for wood. Uh, let's also build a, a school because that's going to allow us to do research. We need to reach level 10 in planks in order to get the next level. And we'll unlock a research menu as well. Plus, gives us the ability to do sell value, no prospecting productivity, workers per house. Workers per house seems... Oh, look at that. That literally just gives us four extra workers. That seems like brokenly good. Like that seems insanely good. Okay, so grain, we need to, like, fix. Hardcore. Fix that with two extra workers there. Are we okay for grain? How do we cultivate 
screen. Huh. Okay, how do we do research? Berries cultivation? I don't know how we do grain cultivation. That's the problem. Farming? Yeah, it's got to be farming. Of course it is. Let's start the process of researching this. Reach level 10 in planks. We get refined planks. Okay, there's a lot of stuff here. Holy cow. This is, this is a lot more fleshed out than I thought this game would be. That's kind of incredible, actually. I like it. Right, let's start selling stone bricks. It's still positive. It's still positive. Not a problem at all. And we'll also see if we can try and build one more general store. And then maybe let's see if we can start the process of accruing berry bushes. Because we're positive in everything else, right? We're not positive in wood. But I can do that little mini game like from time to time if I need to. Level up? Do I need to level up? I suppose there's nothing else to spend cash on, right? Town level 4, natural resource capacity, land plus 17, cotton plants, tailors, and also cotton cultivation. Brilliant. You love to see it. Right, we're 12%, 13% of our way through this. I can't click it and make it happen any, any quicker. Ah, I see. It's using the grain and it's using the yellow coins actively. Uh, that's not a problem. That's not a problem at all, but it is a problem because we have no grain. Yeah, we are like bang out of grain. Can I stop turning it into flour maybe? Pause that process. Yeah, pause that process temporarily. Temporarily, not a problem. Right, back into markets. Let's start selling berries. There we go. Brilliant. That's good. Sell up to the points and then... Of course, each and every time we add a brand new house, that makes it slightly more challenging to fulfill all the requests. We need more and more, more and more stuff. Uh, right, refined planks. I'll take refined planks. That's not a problem. Okay. Grain. Can we harvest anything? Nope, there's still nothing there. Still nothing there. Do I want to move workers around a little bit? Not really, um, to be honest. I don't think that that would really be necessary at a time like this. I really would like farming. Yeah, so there's clearly like a natural growth rate. Are trees going up or down? I have absolutely no idea. It looks like they're going down. Let's maybe see if we can try and fix that with another forester. How are we doing for stone? Looks like that. If that number is holding steady or going up, then that's, that's what matters, right? 83, 82, 81. It's still going down. Let's build two more. Here we go. We cannot run out of wood in the same way that we've run out of grain. If we run out of grain, then we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Well, I say we're in trouble. We're not necessarily strictly in trouble, but... Oh, it's because we don't have water. It's because we don't have water. That's an issue. I need to switch. I need to switch something away. Switch you away. Sure. Right. I didn't even... I literally didn't even spot that. Right. So immediately, like, we're back up. We're back up there, but we're using so much more water than I anticipated. Yeah, so that's that's really not something that I that I adjusted for. Okay. We're going to get another house, and that the whole purpose of this house is to give us more water. How are we doing for the research? Finally, let's finish off farming. That's gonna be great. Berry cultivation, cotton cultivation. Taylor, I mean, oh my lordy, look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff. It's so great. There's so much stuff to do. It's fantastic. Uh, did that house give us one? I thought it gave us more than one. Okay, let's get more water. There we go. We're back in positive water territory. Beautiful. Fantastic. Right, is this research done? Happy days, pasture and the farm. Perfect. Give me the farm and give me yesterday, please. Cultivation. Assign a farm. Okay, well, it's a good thing that we just sorted out our water production, eh? Because 
That is fantastic. Right, so if I go back into, into here, we're harvesting. We're harvesting at a decent rate. Flour, we've obviously turned off flour production. That's iffy. That's very iffy. I suspect... Yeah, the fact that we just don't have enough grain is our problem. Right, well, you know what? We can get, uh, we can get another farm. We can get another farm. Farms are cheap at the moment. Give me however many farms that is. Quest coin, love to see it. Reach level 10 in stone brick. I mean, I can help craft this. I can't help craft this. I do not have any stone... Stone bricks at all. What's the issue with stones? We've got plenty of stones. We're just not harvesting them fast enough. We're just not getting them out of the ground fast enough. It's a bit of a shame. Produce refined planks. Building barrel. Okay, we can... A nice building of a barrel. Farm, farm. There we go. Look at that. Does that get us back in the grain good books? No, of course not, because we have run out of water. What about that? How's that? Oh, we are. Whoa, hold on. Yeah. How do we get more water? I didn't even realize that we could run out of water. Is that a thing that we can do? How do we... A well? Of course, a well. How could I... How could I have been so stupid? Right, well, the good news is, is that we have all of the stone bricks that we need. Can I build another school? I am actually going to build another school. If I build another school, I'm kind of hoping that that's going to accelerate the rate at which I'm able to research. I assume that's the case anyway. It's built now. Does it do anything? I'm not sure. Uh, we have nothing. We have absolutely nothing. Everything has ground to a, a pretty grubby halt because we seem to have run out of water. Um, Paul's all selling of absolutely everything, please, as we just try and recover from this awful, awful, awful situation. Yeah, so happiness is going to fall pretty much all around. But that's okay. Uh, planks? Why are we not getting planks? They should be... They're being used at the farm? Uh, used in building the farm? Oh, yeah, used in building a farm. I see. Okay, they're being used in building a farm. That makes that makes perfect sense. Right. Um. Well, we have maybe overproduced farms a little bit. Don't get me wrong. That's, that's kind of nice. Uh, also, maybe not great. Uh, let's build a well or two or three because we're out of water and that ain't cool. Right. Water is going to be replenished here and hopefully we're going to be able to get ourselves a second building very, very soon. And I'll actually queue up a third if I can. I can't. It's fine. Okay. I'll help cultivate the water. Bring back the water. So we need, we need our lakes to, we need our lakes to be luscious and pure yet again. Because water feeds everything. Without water, we have nothing. Okay, if I turn this all on, it's going to be a disaster, isn't it? We haven't even touched, we haven't even touched any of the more advanced buildings. How crazy is that? We literally haven't touched any of the more advanced buildings. Okay, the good news is... We are positive for everything. Famous last words. Turn everything on, what happens? It's not cataclysmic, to be honest. Yeah, we're holding even at everything. Um, berries, we can probably reduce the number of people involved in berries. We could probably devote that person to doing cotton production. But I actually prefer the idea of doing grain production, because I think that is slightly more required. Uh, also, woods. Like, we need a lot of woods. We need a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of wood. And we're not really there. Anyway, look, I don't think I'm going to go on much further. Um, ladies and gentlemen, there's a playtest ongoing right now for Factory Town Idol. I have no idea how many people uh, are going to be part of the playtest. Uh, I suspect that it's probably quite a closed group, but I have absolutely no idea. Uh, you can check this game out right now on Steam if you want to be part of the playtest. Alternatively, uh, the game is going to be releasing fully in quarter one of 2023, which is very, very soon indeed. Uh, so just stay tuned. I am excited. I am excited for Factory Town Idol. I don't think it's going to be a very expensive game, uh, but I do have no idea, as I've already said. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching. My name, of course, is Obito Potato. 
Uh, check out the Patreon if you're interested in helping make videos like this possible. But for now, and from me, I'll see you next time. Bye.